Hey everyone. So I decided to go ahead and do our four month update. Um, you know, I'm here and Emma woke up from her nap. So uh, here we are. This is Emma Marie. She is going to be four months on Sunday, the 28th. So a little shy of four months, but um, close yeah, close enough. <laughs> so uh, what's been going on with me? So um, I'm still taking um, Zoloft for the postpartum depression. I feel amazing, and I think that as long as it's doing like well, they won't take me off of it, but we'll see what happens. I go to the doctor next month. Uh, my blood pressure has been fine. Uh, I've, I've definitely been feeling better. I don't feel like I'm in a fog anymore, and I don't feel um, tense and not really stressed out. Uh, my heart, I still haven't gone to a cardiologist yet. I'm not sure if I ever will. Um, and this is my baby girl. Um, and my body, I've been feeling pretty great. I Let me show you guys my, my uh, four-month postpartum body. I'm going to hand off the baby really quick so I can show you. Oh, hand Bring off. me Emma. Hand off, buddy. Emma. So this is me at four months postpartum. I am 230 pounds. So I've been pretty good sticking to it. So. This is me. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, I'm the boring part. Um, but Emma is the exciting part. Oh, fly in appearance. <laughs> How'd you get here? You shouldn't be walking yet, let alone flying. Um, here is my beautiful daughter. She is quite the talker now. She, um, she really amazes me every single day. I took her to, um, the doctor yesterday because she was tugging at her ear. So I was thinking, oh gosh, an ear infection. Luckily that was not it. Um, but I do believe it has something to do with her teething because she is definitely teething. She goes through little spurts throughout the day. Um, sometimes she uh, is totally fine, like right now. And other times she's just freaking out and trying to gnaw on anything she can. And we've been um, trying everything we can. Tylenol or gel. Chris poked a hole in one of her binkies and put some water in it and froze it. And she absolutely loves that. Um, she's not so into gnawing on toys just yet, um, but she definitely gnaws on my fingers, and she, <coughs> that's you, and she, um, uh, gnaws on her hands, and she drools a lot, too. She's a drooler. She's also... <laughs> Grumpy sometimes. Oh my goodness. Oh. She is 15 pounds and one ounce. And that was yesterday when we took her to the doctor. And she's drinking um, six ounces of formula. She's still on the Infamil AR. And it's definitely working wonders. I, I started giving her a little bit of baby baby cereal um just a little bit every so often just to try and like introduce it and she she likes it pretty much hi what's wrong oh what's wrong what you're being baby oh oh um <laughs> Hold on, let me change the camera so you can see her. Here we go. And, um, gosh, sorry, what was I saying? Oh, um, yeah, I kind of started giving her a little bit of uh, baby cereal. I know that they don't recommend it, doing it for four I know 
definitely don't recommend doing it till four months, but I really felt that she was ready, babe. Yeah. Another interrupted video. Um, uh, yeah, so I really felt like she was ready. Um, we bought a bumbo and and a tray, and um, at first she was just kind of spitting it out, so I stopped and started over. <laughs> and I started over, um, and now she's she eats it probably every other day. Not too much of it, just a little bit. And starting next month, I'm going to start her on um, some veggies. I'm going to start with avocados and sweet potatoes, carrots, um, just a little bit every probably five days. <laughs> and she's biting on Chris's finger right now. Um, yeah, and her reflex has actually gotten a lot better. She's still throwing up, uh, but not as bad. And, oh, and the doctor actually put her on Zantac. And um, it's completely safe for babies. He said that he gives it to babies as young as two weeks old. And, um, you know, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm absolutely loving being a mom. Love it. It's amazing um, watching her grow every single day and do new things, say new things. She's just a beautiful, beautiful baby. She has a little bit of an attitude, but that's all right. So do I. And um, she's um, she's definitely not a baby that you can just kind of let hang out by itself. You know, she needs to be entertained. She needs to, she likes to be moving. She loves her swing. Um, she loves to be held and walked around. She loves going outside. She's, uh, I guess, you know, a fussy baby, which um, is totally fine. That's, that's who my daughter is, and I'm totally fine with that. And um, I love, I love being able to um, be with her all the time and um, watch her grow and, and, uh, you know, sure, it's, it's hard for Chris and I to go do stuff because she is such a fussy baby, but that's completely fine. You know, I am, I am so happy at the end of the day, um, you know, she goes to sleep and Chris and I, that's our time. And that is good enough for me. You know, every so often I would love to go out to dinner or something, but, um, I'm totally happy with that. I, I would prefer to be with my daughter than to not and that oh that's also why I decided not to go back to school this fall and to wait until um, spring because there's so much going on with my daughter that you know so many milestones that she's gonna go through in the next few months um, that I just can't miss out on <laughs> oh yeah, she's, she's fussing a little bit right now. Um, so, yeah. Um, thank you all for watching. And, um, and uh, I hope everyone is doing great. And check out my pre story that I also uploaded today. Check it out um, if you'd like. It's, uh, I hope, very informative and, and very helpful for women who... Um, have dealt with it or haven't dealt with preeclampsia and um yeah i'll hopefully do another update in a month maybe sooner and i will see you guys later